This video is to be used for educational purposes only and is not intended to replace individual research or licensed investment advice. Unique experiences and past performance does not guarantee future results. Trading stocks, options, and spot currencies involves substantial risk and there's always the potential for loss. Your trading results may vary. No representations are being made that any software or training will guarantee profits or not result in losses from trading. This is the Premier Trade Market Wrap. This is the Market Wrap on a Thursday. Jack Lott here on the James Dix Financial Network. The Federal Reserve reported today that the U.S. economy remained generally weak heading into summer as rising costs for energy and food pounded consumers and forced some companies to push their prices higher. Many economists predict the Fed will leave its key interest rate at 2%. That's a four-year low when it meets uh, next on June 24th and 25th. Retail sales rose a surprising 1% in May. That's the fastest increase in six months. Sales were boosted by higher gas and food prices and uh, by eye-catching gains at building material stores and uh, furniture stores. In a sign of labor market weakness, initial jobless claims jumped by 25,000 the weekend of June 7th to 384,000. It's the highest since March 29th. Import prices soared 2.3% on a monthly basis in May. That's uh, compared to April's 2.4% increase, which was revised upward. Labor reporting that business inventories grew by 0.5% in April, more than double the 0.2% increase in March, and the best showing since inventories rose by 1% in January. Group of eight industrialized nations will be meeting this week in Osaka, Japan, who are hoping to calm global nervousness about a series of looming economic problems. We'll be watching that. Anheuser-Busch said it received a $46.3 billion unsolicited buyout offer from rival InBev of Belgium. Some of the economic reports on Friday include Consumer Price Index for May, as well as the June Consumer Sentiment Report. Earnings today, Thornbird Mortgage reporting a $3.3 billion loss in the first quarter. Expects loans delinquencies to continue to increase modestly for the rest of the year. Qualcomm said it's raising its third quarter profit estimate to between 54 and 55 cents a share. That's up from its previous forecast. Casey's General Stores said that its fourth quarter profit dropped 13 percent, but results beat Wall Street expectations for the quarter. The company reported income of $14.4 million, or $0.28 cents a share. Analysts were looking for a quarter. Earnings on Friday, not many, but there are a few. Pacific Healthcare, Municipal Mortgage, Scottish Re, Carlisle Capital, and Anchor Bancorp. Stocks in the news today, BP PLC was upgraded to equal weight from underweighted Lehman, which noted that the firm is close to its all-time sector relative low on a currency-adjusted basis. Washington Mutual rejected speculation about uh, in the main market about regulatory activity and stressed that no enforcement has been taken against the thrift. And Starbucks entered a partnership under which SSP, that's a UK operator of food and beverage outlets and European travel locations, will license the Starbucks brand. And that is the market wrap. I'm Jack Lotz and this is the James Dix Financial Network.